Welcome to the National President's Address to the Nation. Your FBLA and PBL National Presidents will share highlights from the membership year and tell you what to expect at this year's National Leadership Conference in Chicago. This will be followed by an open forum which will be moderated by Communications Manager Lara Morgan. I'm Lisa Smothers, FBLA PBL Membership Director, and I will serve as your moderator for the first portion of today's presentation. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar bar at the top right of your screen. We'll be recording this session and it will be available on our YouTube channel. We'll begin with FBLA National President Sam Kessler. Sam? Thank you, Mrs. Smothers, and greetings, FBLA members. Thank you all so much for another incredible year. This year, we knew from the get-go that it would be one of FBLA's strongest ever. The National Fall Leadership Conferences kicked off the year with a bang, and we saw record attendance at all three of our locations. For those of you who are unaware, the NFLC is annually our first conference of the school year, and I'd highly encourage you to join in next year. State officers have an especially large amount to gain from attending the NFLCs due to the new state officer track, which in only its second year was attended this fall by hundreds of state officers who returned home with valuable leadership and officer team tips and strategies. In addition to attending an NFLC, I had the privilege of representing our organization this year at some non-FBLA conferences, such as the March of Dimes Volunteer Leadership Conference, where FBLA took home the award for most money raised by a student organization. Way to go, FBLA. I also attended the National Conference of the Association for Career and Technical Education, where I met with other CTSO national leaders and I represented FBLA's student body at this year's FBLA PBL State Leadership Summit, where I updated FBLA PBL State Chapter leaders on our division's success. More recently in the spring, I had the incredible opportunity of attending SLCs in South Carolina, Puerto Rico, DC, and of course, my home state of Pennsylvania. Attending conferences around the country was an incredible experience that enabled me to meet face-to-face -face with FBLA members of all different backgrounds. I went to the conferences um, that had 50 people, and I also went to conferences with 5,000 people. And I came away from each one so proud of the commitment and dedication demonstrated by you, the members of our organization. Speaking of our membership, FBLA's membership has grown in size and location this year, and we've added new chapters outside of the U.S. in places like Taiwan and Canada. FBLA membership as a whole has increased this year by 2,000 members. It's due to your recruitment efforts that we've had such success. So keep up the great work next year. Now on to some other information. As many of you will have noticed if you follow FBLA President on Twitter and Facebook, one of my big goals this year was to introduce Launchpad by FBLA, a new national program for student entrepreneurs. Launchpad is a unique new program that'll give students with businesses or business ideas the opportunity to incubate their businesses in a 53rd floor conference center in Chicago at the NLC. We have already accepted around 30 students into the program, all very impressive, and we've partnered with mentors from places like Microsoft and MIT. Applying for a launch pad is so easy, and if you're already registered to attend the NLC, you may still apply online at launchpadfbla.org. Applications will be reviewed on a rolling basis before the National Leadership Conference. And in addition to Launchpad and all of the other incredible highlights of an NLC, another really exciting thing to look out for is the Krispy Kreme Cruiser. At the NLC this year, you will have the chance to win a visit from the cruiser to your local chapter, which means free donuts and awesome fundraising opportunities. Learn about how you can enter the hashtag Sweet Stop Conference online at fblapbl.org or in the spring issue of the TBL. And excuse me, it's the hashtag Sweet Stop Competition. To conclude, I'd just like to thank you all for an incredible year. We've not done, um, we're not all done just yet, but I can't thank you soon enough or enough for making FBLA into the world's best student organization and for allowing me the honor of serving as your national president this year. As you can tell, the NLC in Chicago is shaping up to look like an incredible time and with a record attendance of 12,000 students, I can't wait to see many of you there. Until then, enjoy the beginning of your summers and keep on making FBLA great.
Thank you, now, Sam. Now I'll turn it over. Thank you, Sam. And hello, members. It's hard to believe that another year is coming to a close. I want to first take this time to thank you for giving me an opportunity to serve you. There have been many landmark events this year for Phi Beta Lambda, from the PBL Pathways program in New Orleans to the upcoming Connection Circuit in Chicago. I look forward to seeing many of you gather in the Windy City in just a few weeks for our annual National Leadership Conference. This year, PBL has truly been working towards a brighter future, and with your help, future PBL members will have the opportunity to embark on an exciting journey. This year at the NLC, Phi Beta Lambda voting delegates will have the opportunity to create history by voting yes on the pending bylaw amendment. This amendment is to restructure the Phi Beta Lambda National Officer Team into a team that aligns with business and industry standards, giving members of the officer team an opportunity to truly grow and prosper. The entire Phi Beta Lambda National Officer Team, as well as several past PBL National Officers, are fully supportive of this amendment. I have received many questions concerning the bylaw amendment, so I would like to take this time to explain to you what it's all about as you can see by the graphic that is showing on the screen. For the Office of President, the current offices will, or the current responsibilities will remain the same. The President shall serve as a chair of the National Executive Council and preside over council meetings and business meetings of PBL, serve as a member of the Board of Directors, appoint appropriate committees and committee chairs, and serve as an ex officio non-voting member of these committees. The Executive Vice President shall serve as the Chair of the National Executive Council and preside over Council meetings and business meetings of PBL in the absence of the President, coordinate recruitment and retention strategies of the National Officer Team, and act as the National Officer Team's Parliamentarian. The Vice President of Communications shall serve as the Recording Secretary of the National Officer Team and develop the Division's annual report to members serve as a liaison between the national officer team and state representatives and promote PBL through all appropriate channels. And the vice president of finance. The vice president of finance shall assist the national office in keeping an accurate record of national officer travel expenses and disbursements and, and planning national officer travel. They shall also assist the national office in securing non-due revenue sources. And lastly, the Vice President of Programs shall promote membership and member development programs of PBL and serve as a liaison between the Executive Council and the National Service Partners. Um, if you do have any questions, please call or email me at 401-524-9871 or you can email me at pblpres at fbla.org. PBL, thank you for making this a remarkable year, and I look forward to all of you voting yes on our amendment. See you soon in Chicago. Okay, thank you, Sam and Bo. Uh, it looks like we had a number of questions submitted, so we're ready to begin our open forum. Um, if we run out of time, we will email you individually to answer any questions that we're not able to get to. So the first question we received is, does my chapter need to sign up for the Sweet Stop Challenge before NLC? Sam? So um, July 1st is when the Sweet Stop Challenge is taking place. And um, no, you do not have to sign up prior to the NLC. Um, you can learn all about the program by reading up in the spring issue of the TBL. And there's also some information on our blog online. But no, again, you don't have to sign up before the National Leadership Conference. All right, thank you, Sam. All right, uh, looks like our next question is for Bo. It says, Bo, if the amendment passes, will the regions go away for PBL? Oh, sorry about that. Um, so the question was, if the amendment passes, will regions go away? And that is a great question. The regions will still be in existence for PBL. Um, however, the regional vice presidents would be replaced by this more strategically aligned team. Okay, thanks, Bo. All right, it looks like we just received another question. Um, someone wants to know, how can I get my chapter members to participate more? Um, Sam, why don't you share your thoughts, and then Bo, you can follow up. Absolutely. 
So um, I might have said this in a past webinar, but it can't be stressed enough. The best way to get your members to participate more in your FBLA programs is not to um, necessarily offer things like incentives, which is another really great way, but my primary way of getting people involved in my local chapter has been to give members, even members who aren't officers necessarily, to give them the ability to actually impact your local chapter. Give them the ability to come up with ideas for events, but not only to come up with ideas for events, but to execute those ideas, to actually lead events. Really, you'll find that people who really get involved with FBLA are the ones who are the ones planning things. And if you give everybody the opportunity to plan things, to get really involved, then you'll, feel, you'll see more involvement and more retention as a whole. Thanks, Bo. All right, so I would have to say, um, just a small shameless plug, uh, this year the FBLA PBL CMAP and BAAs were revised, and you're going to learn all about that in Chicago. Um, but what I do want to say is, is that I know that it can be hard to come up with activities to stimulate and get an audience, and we are so lucky to have a national staff and a bunch of awesome committee members that came together with events that are relevant to today that you can definitely take advantage of. Um, and just like Sam said, make sure that you're making it into a great experience. And as long as you're bringing business and education together, everybody's going to be awesome with that. All right, thank you. Okay, um, looks like we received another question um, about the amendment. So, Bo, this one will be for you. It says, without the regional vice presidents, who will lead the regional sessions at next year's NLC? That is a great question. Um, if you'll see the way that the team is structured, there's going to be five national officers, um, and there are five administrative regions of FBLA PBL. So uh, one of the national officers would end up leading that meeting, and it would be chosen uh, by the staff that year, and also it would be a team consensus that they would work towards leading each of those regional meetings. All right, thanks for clarifying that. Our next question says, this is my first NLC. What should I expect? So, Bo, why don't you tell, because I don't know if this person's FBLA or PBL, so Bo, tell PBL members what to expect, and then Sam can share FBLA. Awesome. So uh, get excited for your first NLC. Chicago was mine uh, a long time ago. Um, what you can expect uh, for PBL is you're going to meet so many great, enthusiastic people, just like you will in FBLA. But you're going to meet so many great, enthusiastic people. You're going to have a lot of workshops that you can attend. And these are really great, great workshop presenters that our conference department has worked to get to help better your uh, business skills. And also, um, just get excited for the show. Uh, I know that we've got some really great speakers that our conference department lined up. So um, just bring some business cards. And don't forget a lint roller, because uh, those always come in handy. And uh, yeah. Thanks, Sam. Yep. All right. Um, so that's a really broad question, and I like that. There's a lot I could talk about, and don't worry, I won't talk about everything. But really, um, I'll mention two things. The first thing that you're going to mention, um, that you're going to see, I'm not sure what state you're coming from, but compared to most states, um, the National Leadership Conference can be ten times, five times, six times the size of what you're used to seeing at an FBLA conference. And that doesn't only mean size in terms of the number of students, but it's a huge production. And we also have an incredible number and breadth of, um, of opportunities for uh, workshops and workshops and seminars. So what that means and why I mentioned this first thing is that you don't want to be intimidated by the incredible number of opportunities and number of people in front of you. Try to network with as many people as possible. Networking can be as simple as giving a business card or making friends with somebody and, and hanging out with somebody throughout the National Leadership Conference. Some of my best experiences at National Leadership Conferences has been meeting new people and attending events with them, exploring the city with them. It's a really great time to do that. And the next thing that I think is very important that you focus on and that you're going to see at the National Leadership Conference is that it really is like a template. Um, the National Leadership Conference is huge. There are so many opportunities, so it is what you make of it. 
make sure to explore the city. Um, make sure to see Chicago. It's an incredible place, but also make sure to take advantage of the incredible number of opportunities available to you at the National Leadership Conference. You pay a registration fee, and that registration fee covers a huge, um, a huge number and different kinds of opportunities that you can have at the National Conference in the Convention Center. So really do make sure to make the most of your time by going into things that you're interested in, because there are a lot of things that you might be interested in at the conference. So yeah, that's what I'll tell you to expect. Make the best of it and it's gonna be big. It's fun. All right, thanks Sam. Okay, um, the next question we received is, um, do all chapters need to participate in the March of Dimes Walk that will be held July 1st? So since that's during FBLA, Sam, I'll let you address it, but your answer will apply to the PBL as well. So no, you don't necessarily need to um, participate in the March of Dimes walk um, if, if your chapter doesn't really fundraise for the March of Dimes, although I'm pretty sure most, if not all, FBLA chapters do. But we really do. Um, March of Dimes does so much for FBLA. They are also do so much for their cause, for the babies. They're an incredible service partner. We're so proud to call them our national service partner. So we highly, highly encourage that you, may, um, that you do your best to make it out to the March, of, um, for, to the March for Babies, to the walk because it really is an awesome time and um, it, it, it's for an incredible cause. Okay, thanks. All right, um, our next question that we received is, what does it take to lead a workshop? Bo, do you wanna cover that one? Because I know you're presenting a couple of workshops at this year's NLC. Wow, that is a very broad question. Um, well, I won't give my whole spiel of how I train workshops, but, um, I'm going to guess like at the NLC is what they're talking about and to do that you would actually have to fill out a form that's available on the national that was available on the national website in uh, I believe it was mid spring um, and that goes to our conference department in order to um, in order to get onto the NLC or the NFLC guide so I'm sure that probably sometime in August I believe it's August or September they'll start launching them for the November NFLCs or no it's it's August so um, but what you need is just a really enthusiastic personality and to know what you're talking about if that wasn't the answer to your question the first part all right thanks Bo okay um, we received a question that's for FBLA it says if you already have a BAA password can you start working on the BAAs for next year and I'm actually going to ask membership director Lisa Smothers to to take this one that's a great question, and the best thing about the BAAs is you can actually work on it year-round. So yes, you can do it during the summer. You just log in with your regular password and go in and work, and then on August, if you're finished, you can submit for the new year. Um, the other thing is, is if you get finished with the level, even though you can't submit it, your advisor still has the opportunity to register for you for another level, and you can begin work on that to give you a jump start on the next year. All right. Thanks, Lisa. Okay. Um, this says, I heard there's electronic voting this year at NLC. If I'm a delegate in one of the sessions with electronic voting, do I need to bring my own smartphone or tablet to be able to vote? Sam? Uh, so no, you don't need to bring it, but we really do encourage you um, to bring a data-enabled device, which could be a smartphone or, smartphone or a tablet, but we say it's not mandatory because we will have computers available in the lab for voting. But again, we really do encourage you to bring those devices if you have them. Great. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. It looks like right now we have one more question. Um, someone said, will this year's NLC be different than past NLCs in any major way? And if so, how? So, Bo, why don't you tackle it first, and then, Sam, you can add yours. So, yes, um, every NLC is always constantly getting bigger and better. Uh, there'll be a connection circuit, which is uh, similar to a job fair, where you'll be able to meet and greet with our PD members and local uh, people or local businesses. Uh, but most importantly, this is such an exciting NLC because you have the opportunity to vote yes on the amendment. Uh, and it's very rare that we get a bylaw amendment that's really going to influence change in our association. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, Sam? Sam? 
So um, as with any NLC, it's going to be crazy different. Um, and like I mentioned before, an NLC is what you make of it. So if you want to have a different experience at the NLC, I'm sure you had a great one last year, but you want to do some other different things. You can um, spend more, um, put more emphasis on exploring different things of the city or put more emphasis on looking at different subjects in your seminars or workshops. But in terms of what is convent, um, what is uh, different about the Chicago NLC this year, one thing, and this is a plug, like Bo, your plug earlier, but for something in FBLA, again, is the Launchpad program is taking place at this year's NLC. If you want to be a part of this program, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to apply. It's um, the first time that FBLA has done something where it's if you have a real business, we're going to help you for a whole day incubate that business with some really successful mentors, like I said, from places like MIT. It's an incredible opportunity, and it really is focused on those of you who see future business leader, um, oftentimes as entrepreneurs. So yeah, uh, focus on entrepreneurship and Launchpad. Great, thank you both. Okay, uh, the next question. Laura, can I add something? Absolutely. Oh, great. Um, I just wanted to add, too, that it's really exciting because we're piloting online voting, and um, the officers and the staff and everybody, a lot of the state people are very excited about it. So we're in PBL, we'll be piloting it in the national voting session and the southern region voting session. In the other regions, we'll be doing the ballot voting. And then for FBLA, we'll also be doing piloting in the national voting session and the Eastern Region voting session. And the great thing about the conference this year, too, is we've changed things around a little bit. And so there's actually one regional business meeting. So that's the regional campaign rally and recognition session. So not only will you have the opportunity to hear the candidate speeches there, you also get your membership awards and all of the recognition in that one, which kind of builds up a lot more excitement into kind of the first part of the conference and then on the last day it's only voting delegates that are voting so it's not really a session it's just voting so I think these changes will make things flow a lot better and will be very exciting. Great thanks for that information. All right um, we received the question where exactly will the FBLA PBL marketplace be located? Bo why don't you share where they can find that information at the com during conference? <laughs> Uh, uh, the exact room in Chicago? Can I well, get some help on that one? Tell the, okay. Uh, the, hours and the, map, yeah. the hours and the location of the marketplace are print, will be printed in your conference program. Yes. Um, and, it's, and the hours, it's, there's a separate section at the front, toward the front pages of the program that uh, talks about marketplace and then it's also on each day's schedule it will show you the hours because the hours are different on different days of the conference so be sure you look at the conference program um, and it'll give you that information yeah and you can pick up your really cool uh, NLC shirt that that uh, member designed right there Correct. yes yes we had a member from New York um, FBLA who won our contest and so his design will be featured on our conference t-shirt and lapel pin all right, um, the next question we have is, is Launchpad restricted to only FBLA? Sam? This year, yes. I can't say what's going to happen in future years. I can't say what Launchpad will be in future years. But this year, yes, it is restricted to FBLA members. And specifically now, we're restricting it to FBLA members who are already registered to attend the NLC. Initially, it was open to everybody. But now that the NLC is underway, or at least registrations have been released, we'd like you to only be able to attend if you are a registered NLC attendant, meaning you either qualified um, some other way or you are going anyway to the NLC. Great. Thank you, Sam. Okay, uh, looks like we're uh, almost out of time, so we'll do one final question. And as a reminder, if we didn't get to your question, we will email you individually. Um, I love this question. It says, how excited are you guys for the NLC? So, Sam? Um, I'm very excited. I could tell you the reasons why I'm excited, but I think I said a lot of them earlier when I talked about what to expect at the NLC. But yeah, um, I, I think specifically for me, this is going to be my first NLC as a national officer. I've only ever spoken for two minutes on stage at a national leadership conference, so this will be my first time speaking for, um, I have no idea how many times that in front of 12,000 people, which will be an incredibly cool experience. So when you see me up there, don't think I'm a pro and I've done it a million times because I haven't. 
and it's going to be really fun. I'm so excited, and I'm most excited to meet you, all of the members. And I don't say that to be corny. I actually, that's my favorite part of all of this, getting to meet you. So, yeah, I'm very excited. All right, and Bo? I'm super excited. Um, I would have to say that uh, Chicago is one of my favorite cities. Uh, it's really bittersweet, um, and I'm sure that Sam would agree, uh, because, you know, you're going to be meeting uh, the candidates for your 15-16 teams and all of that good stuff. But, you know, I can't wait to see everybody and uh, reconnect with everyone uh, who supported me over the past 10 years. So uh, I can't wait to see you all there. Great. Thank you. Well, we, um, thank you to Sam and Bo for leading us today. And thank you to everyone who has attended this final National President's Address to the Nation, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you all in Chicago.